pulled apart Dr. Pepper today, guys. After sick week, we did 13 clean passes. We didn't spin once. We made it all the way down the track safely. The car made it back. The only issue we had all week was one split fuel line. I mean, talk about a success. I've been putting my heart and soul into this car. She isn't letting me down. But today I just pulled off the intake and we've got some issues I gotta show you. So immediately after unbolting the intake, fuel was pouring out the back. And what happened is stuck injector here, stuck injector here. These were literally full of fuel and overflowing. This is literally how much fuel came out of that cylinder. Insane, not good. With E90, it is a dirty fuel and we can get injectors stuck open quite often. So I'm gonna send them out to be redone. I also had a zip tie uh, right here. You can see that was under the seal of the intake. So we gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. And then I'm also fixing up some sensors. I'm really not proud of how the sensors were set up on the car, especially the map sensor. It was a thin vacuum line going to another hose that then clamped to the map sensor. Not ideal. I also never had manifold air temperature sensor on the car. We were just kind of winging it. So I'm going to use on this Texas speed intake, there are ports to put sensors on. So on here, I'll have a tube going to the blow off valve and I'll have my map sensor all done directly to the intake to give us the most accuracy possible. Well, what we're going to end up doing is putting this Rife from Motion Raceworks manifold air temperature sensor somewhere gonna drill and tap the back of the housing right there because I got plenty of clearance in the back but I don't have much clearance underneath the intake to put a 90 degree for this three ace so gonna drill the hole and tap it out Sam went to go grab a tap from his house and then I'll have my map sensor sticking out the back under here like that going to the terminator and then we'll have the line to the blow off valve coming off the front like it should have been because they were all mixed and matched so It'll be nice to have this car right this time before we start sending this thing to the sevens. Starting to pull some plugs here. Look like we got a lot of fuel going through this thing. This is the first time I've ever pulled the plugs on this motor. But we're going to pull all eight, turn it over by hand, make sure there's no fuel stuck in the cylinder so we don't do the old Dr. Benamrod. Dr. Benamol. Dr. Benamol. <laughs> right, now I'm going to get crucified for not using a tap handle, but we're going to use a wrench. What's wrong with you? As long as you keep it straight and level. As long as you're straight and level, you'll be okay. Yeah. You got so much torque in there right on them to keep this from flipping over on it. I know. It. The whole thing, boom, table on, over it went. Dentist, forearms. Yeah. It's, that thing's coming out of there if I have to turn your jaw off. Okay. Sam, how far do I go in here? You, well, you want it to about the clone in. Keep going? Yeah. The deeper you catch your pipe thread, the further in your sense is going to sit. Let me see it inside. Okay, you can go to about right there. Back her out? Mm hmm. Just back straight up. Classic. First Don't act like you never dropped in it. Some, something in the shop two times in a row. Nobody said a word. You just. I get nervous on camera. Well, no, they call that right performance anxiety around here. Yeah, I get performance anxiety for sure. There's a good tapping place down the back. Yeah. File her up a little bit. Well, just take you a little bit on the flat file there. Yep. Wood. Okay, and then the same on the front. Ah, this pains me. Well, don't skin up their black, but just a Oh, Sam, you know what? This is on the front. But the front? Oh, don't do it then. Don't do no, it. No, we are, no, I accidentally did it on the front to the back. No, you I'm, serious? I'm just kidding. No. See, <laughs> with <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Extendo Mundo. <laughs> Rife sensor. Only the best. Only the best. Will it fit? Of course it will. It has to. If it's tight already, you can run the tap and yeah, if, it, if, it, if it's have exactly, if it's having difficulty starting, you can go in two more rounds with your piece. Dude, look at your and, now, uh, one thing just, and, uh, they mentioned it on camera. Okay, you see how your, your Teflon unrolled? 
I did it the wrong way. Yeah, you just want to go the other way so that when it, okay, but it's okay. So actually, a little tip for you guys, I actually use Teflon tape quite a bit in implant dentistry. I fill my holes with Teflon, mm -hmm. and I actually use pink Teflon on all my implants because then I know if I've been in there last because everybody else uses white, so I got pink Teflon. That way I know if I was the last person to be playing Good with that move, implant. great move, excellent move. Do you put it on backwards and that is true too? No, you just, just stuff the, holes with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, do you have a fold? You get the liquid devil? No, that's not enough. No. Remember, <laughs> remember, you got a cast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you got a cast <laughs> piece here. No, you got a cast piece and you always you got oh, it. Oh, that's purdy. You got it taped up right too, so yeah, it's fine. Dude, you got a purdy mouth. Look at you. Professional. And you're about to try to weld aluminum all over your own. I got to tell you, that's a neat looking job. Both when you're drilling, you're tapping, Oh, very good. All right. Well, here's a good view with my sensor back in. Manifold air temperature is going to be here. Map sensor is going to be here. And then the line going to the blow off valve is going to be here. These two are plugged. Now that we got the sensors back in the intake, Sam and I are bolting this thing back down. I am going to send the injectors off to be cleaned since it seems like a few of them are stuck. We started to pull some of the plugs. We're going to pull the plugs in the other side, turn the motor over by hand a couple times, and then get some fresh plugs back in it. If any of y'all have ever gapped your plugs before, I'm doing mine to about 20 thou. And this little nifty tool here is pretty sweet. Instead of putting your gap in there and tapping it on a table, see, you just screw it up down right there. Tighten it down. Now it's perfectly in the space of 20 thou. Beaut. What a beaut. Something I've never seen before, which is pretty smart because I am the guy that uh, taps it on the vise in the uh, in the shop. We've all done it. And yep. then you get one of these. Brent had one on race week once, and I was like, ooh, dude, that thing's the way to go for sure. Especially just putting the feeler gauge right in there, tighten down a little bit. Not too much, but heck yeah. Too much, but makes it a lot more simple, cleaner, easier, so you're applying even pressure across. So you don't bend it one particular way or the other. But it's kind of hard to keep track of all this stuff, especially when we're on the road doing these drag and drive events. Like, oh, where are my feeler gauges? Where are my plugs? Where's the tool? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That's why I use all the, uh, the tool bags for all the Milwaukee stuff I bought. Yeah, I love the tool bags. I've been hauling around five gallon buckets with my tools in the back of the car and got, really don't like doing that. Do the tool bags. I got one for, for just towing stuff like ratchet straps and, and straps and all that stuff. And then I got another one I'll fill up with tools. If you guys haven't seen Adam's Instagram, <laughs> he does some pretty cool work at the Freedom Factory. So go check him out. It's just weird that I felt to, you know, pull the intake off this thing to put those sensors in because that would have been catastrophic. Proper maintenance, people. Right? That would have definitely been a bent rod because it would have water hammered that. Oh, yeah. Boom. You so, want to compress liquid so far and then you're into a solid bang. Well, all we got to do is get new plugs in this thing. I'm going to send out, I'll probably, those injectors, they're 2200 cc, but when I send them out to fuel injector clinic, they weren't too impressed with the quality. I'll probably just hit those guys up and say, hey, what do you guys think I should run for this car? A small investment to protect your car is, look at this fire sleeve that was on this plug wire. Completely protected it, literally not melted at all. You can get these from Design Engineering Inc. Highly recommend them. Small investment to protect your expensive parts. Well, I know you guys are gonna rip on me for them, but these are some fuel soaked plugs if I've ever seen them. We're wrapping up Dr. Pepper. We're getting the fresh plugs back in after turning it over a couple of times, making sure to get all the fuel out of the, out of the cylinders. But next time Sam and I were talking before, anytime this car sits, what we're gonna do is just turn it over by hand a couple times to make sure that it doesn't lock up because shoot, I mean, if I wouldn't have pulled this intake today, I would have gone to start it and it would have, it would have been a rod which is crazy, blows my mind. For such a beautiful piece of art that we've been working on for so long, for something like that to go wrong so easily, so quickly, really opened up my eyes. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper, 
This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.